Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. And in this one, we're gonna be talking about how you guys could vlog on your iPhone. So I know that a lot of YouTubers right now, especially the popular ones who are making vlogs, have these huge setups with like their big Sony cameras and like these huge gorilla pods. And they might look like very intimidating if you do wanna get into vlogging. So using your iPhone is the, probably the best way to get into it with having a pretty good experience with the quality of the actual video and just how big the actual form factor is. So preferably, if you have an iPhone 11 or above, that would be the best case scenario, just because they have the wide angle camera, which is the best for vlogging. But honestly, if you don't have an iPhone 11 or above, if you just have a recent iPhone or even an Android phone that has decent quality video, then it's gonna work perfectly fine. And half the time, you're probably not even gonna be able to tell if somebody's vlogging on like a super expensive $5,000 setup or if they're just using their iPhone because the main thing that you really focus on is the quality of the content. And if it's really engaging, then you won't even care if the quality looks amazing or if it's like kind of okay. But what really matters is the actual quality. If it's just decent, that's probably fine. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And with these new iPhones with like the 12 that I have right now, it's honestly perfectly good enough to film like decent vlogs that everybody's gonna like as long as the quality of the content's good. And another aspect that you do have to focus on is the audio because more importantly, actually more important than video most of the time is the audio. If you have bad audio, then really nobody's gonna wanna watch your videos. So in this video, we're gonna cover how to get good quality audio and video out of your iPhone. So now jumping into the gear that you're probably gonna need, you're definitely gonna need your iPhone, of course, but the next few things we're gonna talk about today, they've been sent over from our friends at Movo Photo. Uh, they kindly sent over like three or four items that are gonna really help you make some better vlogs with your iPhone. So here we have the actual items that they sent over. We have four things. We're gonna go over each one and what the purpose is for each of the items. Now getting into the first product, we have the Smart Grip from Movo. And this is basically just a little tripod that you could hold on and you could attach your iPhone to it. So whenever you're walking around and you wanna vlog, this is perfect for that. And it helps keep the actual size of your entire setup pretty small. So opening it up now, we have these little cards. I'm not sure what those are. We probably don't need those. Um, now we have a little strap right here and then next thing we have is the tripod itself which is actually folded up some way. I'll figure out how to use this in like a second. So pretty much all you have to do is just take this bottom part which is the actual grip and then you just have to screw it on right here. Okay, so I just took a few minutes and figured out how to use the Smart Grip itself. And it's actually a really great product that's actually very small. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. And I'll just show you guys on how to use it. So basically this is the setup itself. Um, right here we have the actual grip. Over here you have the phone. And right here is the actual knob where you can turn it to unlock and lock the phone itself. I'll show you guys how it works. So if you keep unlocking it or just screwing it one way, it's gonna get bigger and you can just easily slide your phone in and out like right here. And if you screw it the other way, it's just gonna go back down so you can just lock your phone in place. And on the back, you have a knob right here. And if you just turn it one way, you're gonna be able to unlock it and then move the orientation of the actual grip in any way you want so that you can film vertically or horizontally. And another great thing about the grip is that right here, you actually have the levels. So you have some uh, for vertical and horizontal, depending on how you're gonna film your video. And lastly, the other cool thing about this is that you actually have a mount right here to use your external microphone, which is gonna be really helpful to get some better audio out of your phone. But today we actually have a different way of getting some really good audio, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. And also right here, we have a tripod mount just in case if you wanted to put this on a tripod. And now moving on to the next product that they sent over, we have the Durable May tripod, which is just a little bit bigger of a tripod, maybe in case if you wanna do some sit down videos or something like that. So basically what you get in the box is the main tripod itself, which is right here. And it's a very sturdy and high quality tripod that's actually very small and portable. And it also does come with the ball head, which just moves right here. And the next thing that you get is kind of the extender for that. You put this right on top of that part of the tripod and you can actually just turn this right here. And once you turn that, it kind of unlocks the top portion, which you can just pull out. And then you can just turn it back the other way and then lock it in position. So what you do with this extender is that you just put it right on top of the actual tripod itself. 
And then once you have that, you kind of just made the tripod a lot taller. And then finally, if you do want to add your phone to this, you could basically take the smart grip from before. And the smart grip actually does have a tripod mount right here. So basically just take the other part and put it right into here and you'll have a much bigger setup. And you could see right here that you have a much bigger setup, but if you do want to do a sit down video or some type of call and you want to put the tripod on the floor, you won't be able to increase the height more than this. So keep that in mind if you are looking to pick this up. And of course, you don't have to use the extension portion of the tripod and you could just use it as is and attach the tripod to the actual smart grip itself. And I'll give you a much more portable vlogging setup that's actually really sturdy and you'll be sure that your phone doesn't go anywhere if you do put it down to vlog. And now moving on to the next product, we have something that's actually pretty essential. You're going to definitely want something to up your audio game if you are vlogging on your iPhone. And here we have a wireless lav kit for your iPhone that's going to connect by one portion that's going into your iPhone and the rest is just going to go on your person. And I'll go through an example of what the audio actually sounds like from here versus the iPhone and a few clips from now. So I'll just put a timestamp of it right here in case you guys want to skip to it. And now that we've gone through all the essentials of what you really need if you want to get started vlogging on your iPhone, we have one extra thing which is going to help if you're trying to make some videos indoors. And this is going to be the LED video light for Movo, which is a little cube that goes right on top of your vlogging setup. And this is pretty much the light itself. It's actually a very small cube that can be attached right on the smart grip. And over here on the side, you have the actual power button. So if you just slide that up, you're gonna be able to turn... What? And if you just look on this side, you have the on button, which if you just slide up, you're gonna be able to see the light comes on. And on the other side, you actually just have three different brightness levels, which you can change right here. Right now I'm just using my Sony a6400, so you're not gonna get an exact representation of how it's gonna look with my actual iPhone. But here you can just see how kind of harsh the lighting is. It's actually not the softest light, and it's actually on the dimmest setting, so if I bring it up to the top, let's do that real quick. So this is the brightest setting, and clearly it's way too bright. It's, I'm looking completely washed out right now, so if you would wanna use this indoors, you have to put some type of diffusion over this so it's not as harsh. Okay, so now that you have all the gear that you need to finally get started to vlog, uh, we could finally get into the actual setting that you need on your phone before getting into the actual process of how to vlog and everything. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is go into settings and then go to camera. And then under camera, you're gonna wanna click formats. And then here you're gonna have two options, which is high efficiency and most compatible. And here you're gonna wanna click most compatible because this is gonna give you a file type like JPEG or for video, you're gonna get H.264, which you're gonna be able to edit with Premiere Pro or any other software that's not on Mac like Final Cut Pro. And if you already have a Mac, you're not gonna have to worry about shooting in the high efficiency or most compatible mode because they're both gonna work perfectly fine if you have a Mac. All right, so now you're gonna want to jump into the camera app. And then once you're in the camera app, obviously go over to video. And then on the top left, you're gonna see the option where it's gonna say HD if it's not already 4K. And then you're gonna to wanna to click that until it becomes 4K and then change the top number to 24 frames per second. And then finally, you're gonna see the one X on the bottom near where you actually click the button to shoot. And then just click that once till you get 0.5. And that's gonna give you the wide angle lens, which is gonna look really nice when you're trying to vlog. And now the main thing you're gonna notice here is that you're not gonna be able to shoot with the front facing camera, but you're gonna shoot with the rear. And the reason for this is that first you get the wide angle lens, which is gonna look much better than the standard 1X lens when you're shooting a vlog. And the front facing camera isn't nearly as good in quality as the rear cameras. So honestly, you're not gonna be able to see yourself, but that's not the biggest deal because you already know that you're shooting in wide angle. So you're gonna get everything in the shot anyways. Okay, so now this is a test shot of me filming on the iPhone 12. I'm currently using the 4K 24 frames per second settings and the camera is about a foot away from me but I am using the wide angle lens so this means that you can have it a lot closer to you and have a lot more in the background and I'm also not using this lapel mic right here um, it's turned off for right now and this is also an audio test of how it sounds like coming straight from the iPhone 12 and now this is a test shot of the same iPhone 12 with the same settings but here I am using the front facing camera instead of the rear ones and hopefully it should still look pretty good but preferably if you do have the option to just shoot with the rear cameras especially with that wide angle lens that's probably the best case scenario and this should honestly still look pretty good and one thing to take note of is that you shouldn't look at the screen itself even though it is pretty tempting since you can see yourself in the surrounding that you have but it's gonna feel a lot more intimate if you do look into the lens it's gonna look like you're actually having eye contact with the viewer like you guys right now but if I do look at the screen like I am right now, it's going to look not as good as if I was looking at the lens itself. 
And honestly, right now I'm surprised at how good the front facing camera is. My arm is completely extended right now, so it is a little bit more uncomfortable than having the wide angle lens, but still it looks really good. And hopefully once I put this into like Premiere Pro, everything should still look pretty good at 4K24. And now this is a test of the iPhone 12 filming at 1080p this time, and it doesn't go to 24 frames per second, so I'm doing 30 frames per second. So hopefully it should still look pretty good, but this is 1080p. Most likely the 4K is gonna look a lot better than this, but we'll see in post. And now this is a test of the iPhone recording at 4K24, but this time I'm not doing a wide angle lens. Since the wide angle lens might look a little bit worse than the actual normal lens, um, it's because of the f-stop. I forgot what it actually is, but it's a little bit higher with the wide angle lens when compared to the normal lens at 1x. Okay, so I just took a look at that footage, and honestly, the 1x is completely fine. I know that wide angle might look a little bit nicer since the more popular YouTubers out there do have wide angle lenses and who are actually vlogging. It does look pretty nice, but with iPhone, it actually looks really nice with 1x, but you do have to keep your arm a little bit further out when compared to using the wide angle lens. All right, so now this is a microphone test of just the iPhone 12 without any external microphone. So hopefully this should sound pretty good, but I'm guessing that the lapel mic is going to sound better than this. Okay, so this is a microphone test of the wireless lapel mic that's right over here. Hopefully this should sound a lot better and also does have a tiny windscreen on it. So if there is any wind, if you are recording outside like I am right now, hopefully you should get rid of that wind and it should sound pretty good. And I'm also not sure if it's supposed to be put on like this, but I just put it on any way I could. Right now I'm not trying to make an actual vlog, but if you were, you'd probably try to hide it a little bit more to make it a little bit better settings. But right now it's just fine for what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, so now this is a full on vlog test with the iPhone 12. I'm filming at 4K24 and I'm also using the lapel mic right here. So hopefully this gives you a good idea of what it would feel like to have an actual vlog with your iPhone 12. And hopefully the footage is still pretty stable. I know that with the new iPhones, they do have a lot more stability in their video. So hopefully this looks pretty good and this whole setup should be pretty nice. And right now I'm actually using the smart grip that Movo sent over and it's sitting right on top of the mini durable tripod. So both of them together make a really comfortable grip experience just to hold on to your iPhone rather than just holding it with your hand. Okay, so a pretty cool thing about this is that with the lav mic, it is wireless, so pretty much I could go wherever I want and I could still have audio, which is amazing. Like, if, you, if I didn't have this right now, I'll have to be super close to the actual camera, but with this, I have a little bit more flexibility to just go around and just talk. And an example of just trying to use this lav mic in a better scenario would be if you're trying to do like some type of interview videos on YouTube and just going around a city and trying to ask somebody a question, and using your iPhone mic is not going to be good for that at all since you kind of have to be a little bit further away. But using something like a lav mic, you could just put it up to their mouth and they could talk. And then you could just go back and forth with that. And it's a much better setup than just trying to use your iPhone. And this is just so much better. I feel a lot more free right now just being able to talk wherever I go. I could, we could do a little bit of a test here. I could just go a little bit further away and see if you could still hear me. So right now I feel like I'm about 15, 20 feet. I'm not even sure if you could see me right now. But if I just keep going back, I'll just keep doing this until the mic goes out. But um, hopefully it should still be pretty good quality and everything. And right now I bet you can't even see me, or maybe you can. I'm probably about like 40 feet away, or 30 to 40 feet away. And hopefully it still works and the quality still sounds good. But it's definitely something that could help your, you know, your YouTube arsenal of gear if you are trying to become a YouTuber. And it's just a lot better than just trying to use the phone or the microphone on your iPhone. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the essentials of what you really need to start vlogging on your iPhone. Now I do want to talk about some of the cons of using your iPhone to vlog. So one of the main things is going to be that once it's daylight, like right now, it's going to look really nice. But once it does get even a little bit dark, the grain's going to start to show since the iPhone doesn't have the best sensors out there. And that's pretty much the benefit of getting a more expensive camera. But if you're looking just to start out on YouTube and you just want to make some vlogs for fun, and you just want to post them up there, this is perfectly fine. I would highly recommend you just use your phone. An iPhone 11 or above is going to have amazing quality. And even before that, it's probably going to be decent quality. But like this, if it is an iPhone 12, it's honestly going to look almost like the same. Or not almost the same, but pretty close to an actual cinematic camera. And I'm also planning to start doing a lot more vlogs in the future on this channel. Right now, I haven't been doing too much with tech or anything. I've kind of just stopped like uploading consistently. But I'm definitely going to get back into that. And soon, I'm actually going to be moving to New York City. So that's going to be like the perfect opportunity for me to vlog kind of my life like right out of college and everything like that. So I'm probably gonna actually end up using this setup where I'm contemplating it. I do have like my more expensive setup, which I did pay a lot for, for YouTube and for photography and stuff. So I might just end up using that. But right now, this is like a great secondary setup. And I'm not even sure I might just use this like primarily, but we'll see in the future. But that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys did enjoy this one, uh, make sure to go down below and hit that subscribe and that like button. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.